Tani Seagrave now leaves the gate. Third in that qualifier. Let's see how she goes through these first turns. Everyone else was very, very careful so far. She attacks a little harder, I would say. Oh, yes, she does. And it stays inside. Yes. Have you seen that? Stayed super tight there, so. That must be green lights at the first split. That ha That's 100% sure. The early season form perhaps not been quite where Tani Seagrave have wanted. I was talking to Rachel about it, Rachel Atherton, and she said, never write this woman off. She's a bit like me, she's a racer. You push her into a corner <laughs> and she performs and performing she is today. Nearly four and a half seconds up then, four and a half seconds up at split two. That's how she said it. She cannot really crank it up in qualifying, but when it counts, she will. And yes. Look great through that rock section as well. Is it going to be the fastest through the rocks and roll key section? No, over a second back then, but she does have four and a half to play with. Good through the speed trap too. I wonder how she lost that much time in the rocks. It doesn't matter though, she's still four seconds up. She looked great from what I saw of it, didn't see any mistakes there, must have been maybe a little slow on the entrance or something coming into that section. When she was in there, she looked good. Three. Actually, only three seconds up, hey. Lost uh, around a second and a half. Man, Cabro, keep an eye on that woman this year. Charging here at round one. And the world's best are struggling to deal with it. Oh, lost a bit of time in there, or a little speed at least. That corner seems to be quite tricky to take some exit speed. A lot of off camber, off -camber turns down the bottom here. Big holes everywhere as well to unsettle the bike. You can see it happening into a lot of these turns. Oh, four seconds now ahead of Cabaroo. All right, that second is back. So Seagrave pulls a second between splits three and four. Cabaroo actually. You know, been here a few weeks ago training on this track, so you can see the advantage it's given her. And Seagrave, really been battling, she said, with bike setup. But earlier this week on Tuesday, riding on the hills around here, she found what she was looking for and has come into this uh, first round a lot more confident than she was a few days ago. And you can see it. This is going to be a good time for the last two of the top to beat now. Tani Seagrave then. Lifts the bar in Slovenia. 3.25.888 now the time to beat. Three and a half seconds up on that time of Cabro with just two riders left at the top. So the world champion, the defend, the reigning world champion. Leaves the star heart, Louis Bruni. Already his 2019 has gone a, bit, a lot better than 2018 did where he crashed in low shin on his first practice run, dislocating his elbow. Tip towering around that first turn, right on the edge of the tyres. This is a man who knows how to win races. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. The winner of three of the last four World Championships, the one-day event that we have for those worlds, one run. And Bruni mastering it better than the, uh, the current era of riders. It's fast. It's fast. Oh, he's up. <laughs> so the first rider we've seen ahead of Danny Hart. Point one up then for Lloyd Bruni as he comes into the rock section. Hart was incredibly quick through here, though. Oh, well, on exactly the same line. Same line, but not same speed. I think he went quite a lot slower through that rock garden. I it, might be wrong. It did look that way. We saw... Uh, so, no, Bruni is fastest through that rock section by two hundredths of a second. <laughs> OK. And, and the way that we saw well, Danny you know, hit that flat and bounce out of there. I would agree with you. Yeah, well, it was not as spectacular, but it was the same speed. That's right. Doesn't that always spectacular. Isn't always the fastest. Oh, wow, that new bike must be working. 29 in the front, 27.5, just like Danny Hart. But look, Bruni is pulling away. Over nearly half a second up now then for Louis Bruni. The world champion start to open things up here. The gap on the virtual straight, staying around the same. Oh, it's getting bigger. Luke Bruni's dad I've seen here watching this week as well. A world champion himself in the Masters category. <clears throat> oh, perfect across this camera. This is going to be good, you know. Wow, you yeah. can't write this any better. Look, nearly a second into the green now for Luke Bruni then. The rainbow stripes are charging here in Slovenia around one. 
The only thing missing from this man's portfolio is an overall World Cup title. Struck back with that win in mont saint last year in the World Cup there. While the other French riders were having all the fun. OK, not far to go. A it couple looks, more seconds. It looks like the perfect run from Louis Bruni. Is he going to take down Danny Hart? 2.59 is the time to be. Bruni sprints towards the line. He goes fastest. Look at the time. 2.58.8. And Louis Bruni leads in Maribor. Absolutely <laughs> incredible run. Wow. That looked absolutely faultless from here.